Hey, it's Sean and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com, and uh, we got two beers here in front of us. I love Four it. in total. And this is an, another epic smash beer showdown. Two hops, very similar, brewed side by side, and we're going to taste them side by side. This is oh, wow. the noble hop comparison of Tetnang versus Holotower. Now, these are ales. This is not a lager tasting. This is definitely an ale tasting. These are both uh, from one gallon batches, two pounds of, um, I think I did American two row malt, and one ounce each of, uh, of Tetnang and Holotower. And this kind of came out like, and we've been talking about this for a long time. We did have the epic Fuggles versus East Kent Goldings uh, episode, but this is going to be one for Noble Hops because I think we did a Noble Smash beer and we tasted it and we said, this tastes like hops. Yeah. And that's really not that helpful for anybody because, you know, but this is at least we can say like, if you're trying to decide between two Noble German varieties, traditional German varieties, Let's taste this. These are both from um, you know, German hops, uh, German ver uh, versions of these uh, two well-known noble hops. And I brewed the exact same one. Uh, the hop schedule was from the one ounce, a quarter of an ounce uh, at 60 minutes of the boil. I think I did a uh, half of, of that ounce right at flame out, and then I d actually dry hopped too oh. with a quarter, just so we can get more yeah, Roman sure, notes sure, too. Sure. If there are Roman if notes. If there yeah. are to discuss. So um, I'm going to shut up. It's basically the same process I've always done, but brewed one on a Saturday morning, one on a Sunday morning, and then fermented with uh, US05 um, neutral dry yeast so we could like try to figure it out. So. Halotau yes. Tetnang? Yes. Okay. Tetnang's in the tall glass. How about oh, that? Oh, well, that makes sense. That makes sense? We know what we're doing. Yeah. Well, that just came to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I remember that this is the first one. So, so um, there's a noticeable difference in the aroma on the two. Um, the, I, not knowing, being Noble Hops as you're talking about it, yeah. not thinking that you would dry hop it, um, there's a really strong, just like, pellet hop aroma. Right? I mean, it's like, it's probably, the Tetnang is a little bit more, there's actually, a li there's, a, there's a hint of, for lack of a better term, there's a, there's a subtle, f fruitier character hmm. than there is to the Halotau. Okay. The Halotau I get, it's a little bit more, um, there's some, a little bit more, it's a little more neutral aroma wise. I'll just, I guess I'll stick with that for now until maybe if it warms up a little bit more. I just find it more floral, like more like flowers. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I think so. I mean, so, but on the taste, on the taste, there's a there's that clean, hop pellety, hmm. there's a fruit character. I mean, we have to, let's suspend for a minute what yeah. we know is being fruity hops yeah. okay no, 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 let's yeah. go back like 12 years to those yes. hop days yeah. and say there's a fruity character here i would say if you were going to say like on the pendulum of yeah yeah it's a little more fruity this is a little bit more there's a little bit more of Herbal an earthy note yeah. spiciness yeah. note to it um this is like there's a spiciness but there's a there's a, a, a sweeter fruitier side to it mm -hmm. um you know i definitely get like a floral finish in the flavor, more almost like geranium-like. Mm. Um, and then this one's just a little bit cleaner, but again, there's that hint of like, maybe mint fruit type of, you know, but it's not minty or f big fruity. No, it's but just, it, it's not like if you were to compare the two. You have to give it some yeah, sort of name. Earthy, and this is like yeah. more towards the fruity side. Of this them. one, yeah. it's just, there's just a little bit more like hop oil ness mm -hmm. to it. It's not danky. It's not super well, bitter. Yeah, that's a good one. I um, think hop oil. Uh, but there's just a, content. yeah, there's a, there's an alpha acid thing going on here that isn't as yeah. potent here. Um, both good, well balanced, interesting. Um, I'm so used to, and this is the one I'm most familiar with, the, the Alatower. Mm. 
And that's like really if, yeah, because I use it all the time. See, I use Tetanang a lot more when really? when I have a recipe that I want to use when I think German hmm. or I think Halatower. I don't know why. You know, the last few years, yeah. have no, I don't know what's going on <laughs> agriculturally, but when I see like Halatower at the store and it's like two point eight percent alpha acid, I just pass. I just don't, <laughs> don't buy, buy it, it right? Because yeah. I just don't know what I'm going to get out of something so weak. Yeah. Um, so the tetanang seems to be a little bit more consistent in terms of offering up four or five percent or you know sure. um, alpha acid. So I'm just afraid of introducing too much green material to get to the same bitterness quality with some of those really yeah, poor. Yeah, because like Saz has, has suffered from that yeah, lately. It seems to that, too. like yeah. I almost never use Saz because that's always like two something percent. In terms of the bitterness um, characteristic, it seems like tetanang has a stronger. Um, bitter quality than the hollow tower, which seems again like yeah. to me the uh, the flavor seems more floral mm -hmm. but that's and it but the, what I'm also used to in the yeah. in the lagers that I brew if I'm using hollow tower yeah. that's yeah. that's exact quality little, for me there's a little bit more bitterness on this guy than there is here that's what I meant yeah yep. that's and then this is this has got that more of a floral spicy finish yeah. and that one's just just green. This one's just green. Tasting. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Right? Yeah, it's it's less complex. A little bit. Than the maybe maybe time. the fruit I'm actually searching for is a little bit like a lime leaf type of thing. It's just green. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 But that's not to say take your IPA hat off. It's not like no limey no. Heck citrus. No. It's not. It's just <laughs> it's just generic. When you think fruit, this is what you yeah, get. Yeah. These are pretty standard. This, yeah. th these flavor, this these yeah. beers are fl standard hop flavors, yeah. and we're just trying to like pick out like the, they are different. That's yeah. for sure. They're different. They but to different. be fair, it, I th it's subtle though. Mm. Both of them by themselves, yeah. the characters trying to pull the characters out. Yeah. It's subtle. Yes. I think we're so used to these dominant hops in yeah. our mouth. It's like, oh my gosh, that is tangerine, right? <laughs> it's, it's hard to miss. Or, right? It's hard yeah, to yeah. miss. It's just screaming at you. Uh, but this, it's just more subtle, which yeah. is, you know, the master of the mastery of using these hops historically, too, is just to bring bring something out of them. Yeah, true. Uh, it's interesting. Well, this so, is a great experiment. You're welcome. So that, uh, it, I think the one thing was like, how much different are they? And I think when you taste them side by side, although you know, the characteristics might be subtle. I find that these are, you know, quite different in, in this showcase. Yes. You know, I think that, you know. If I had brewed four or five beers and I was thrown around with Tetanang and then brewed four or five beers, or even if I, over this course of brewing six or eight batches of beer, if I was bouncing back and forth between the two, mm. I might, might not necessarily really note a tremendous difference. Yeah. I might say, oh yeah, that beer was a little bit, but depending on what beers I was brewing and stuff, I, they don't really stand out to me. Mm. It's not like as if you were doing something with Simcoe and Galaxy, <laughs> right? You'd be yeah. like, wow, that's different, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, or like that's Columbus, good. Cascade and Galaxy or something, yeah, right? You something know, those, that, yeah. But these, they're just subtly yeah. um, different side by side. That's good. So what's your preference? Uh, I know that you've been brewing with Tetanang more often, but... You know... Um, if all Tetanang has this limey, minty fruit thing going for it, I actually, I think I'd probably want to experiment with this more. Because when I'm brewing these types of beers, that isn't actually really what I want. Yeah. Right? Um, and maybe I've always put some of that flavor, I'm probably blending it with some other hops and maybe I'm losing that flavor or maybe I just, I'm writing it off as something in the recipe or yeast derived ester or something. Um, but this is a little bit cleaner, a little more true to a noble character. I think, right? Yeah. Um, I, w I wish it was a little bit more potent, but maybe that's an alpha acid issue, or maybe it just means if I was going to brew some sort of beer with this, I'd want to use a little bit more than wh how we put it together here. True that, yeah. To really make the hallow tau shine through. Yeah. Well, I think that's, that's yeah, I think it's true with all yeah. the ones that we have lower alpha yeah. acid. You're kind of like, I know you're saying, like, I don't want, like, green material, but yeah. I think you have to, like, kind of push it through. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then just, like, you know, like, let let don't let a lot of true get into your fermenter, I guess, you know? Yep. Yep. Anyway, so that's our little experiment. Um, hopefully you learned something from this. I, I find Hollow Tower to be a special kind of hop. Tetanang, I think, works well in, in, in certain lagers and has a nice 
uh, bitter, bring, brings a nice bitter background to your to your hops. This has uh, just sort of the same like earthy yeah. herbal, herbal qualities yeah. that that EKG has, you know. But it, different, of course. There, that'd be a great yeah. experiment too. I guess EKG yeah. versus yeah. Hollerflower. I bet you you taste a big difference yeah. there, with EKG probably being f even more fruity than than Tetanang. Yeah, sure. maybe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we'd love to hear more about your thoughts on these noble hops. Um, certainly, like having these kinds of experiments helps to like get that sort of profile in your mind. And how does that marry with the uh, malts you're going to choose for your big lager, mm. what have you? So let us know in the comments below your experience with uh, Hollow Tower or Tetanang or both. Uh, we'd love to see it and we'll respond to those. Uh, if you like what you just watched, uh, subscribe to our channel. We do this every week and uh, like it if you like the video. For John and Mike, brewdashdudes.com, brew on.